This show takes us as a starting point to uh, women from a uh, European dynasty called the Habsburgs um, that prevailed over all of Europe for you know, over a hundred years and at the very start of the empire there were two very powerful empires. One was um, predominantly Spain and Portugal and this is the story of two sisters that come from Spain. One was sent to England and she is called Catherine of Aragon who we know married Henry VIII um, and the other one is called Joanna the Mad. Now both of those women ended up um, in isolation in single rooms, one in England and one in Spain. Um, their lives effectively ruined by the people around them in a quest for power but why I'm interested in this piece is that these two monarchs uh, stood in opposition to the division of Europe, particularly Catherine of Aragon, um, while Europe was being split in the Reformation. And Joanna the Mad oversaw, against her will, some would say, the expansion into the Americas. And her daughter Catalina became queen of all Portugal. Now, those are just the historical concepts behind them. Why we're interested in the piece and these characters is because of what is happening at the minute with Europe. Um, the breaking of Europe into two, some would say, and powerful people who stand in opposition to that. Uh, those are starting points for a drama, but the Belfast Ensemble is interested in uh, music, text, and the surround or the mechanism of theatre to house them both. So stories told on stage with music. Most stories that happen on the stage happen with singing, so they're either an opera or a musical, or as I've done before, a song cycle that's staged. This is none of those, although it takes parts of all of them. This is a very old fashioned uh, art form called the melodrama, where players would speak in time, like a recitation with some music. Um, and Stravinsky has used it, uh, Walton famously used it in a piece um, and we're using that in an attempt to sort of remove the singing from it but use song form. So they're very different pieces. One is an absolute tragedy using song cycle and recitation as its starting point. It's a collection of 16 verse poems called The Moot Virginity of Catherine of Aragon. And the other one about Joanna the Mad is a duet between her and her daughter. And that's much more it's got much more light in it than Catherine. Um, but they both operate on the principle that it's the actor's process. It's the actor who deals with text and does not sing, um, but speaks in rhythm and bounces off the music. And they're surrounded by musicians who bounce back. And my job as a composer and a creator of it is to keep an eye on that ongoing process without saying, you know, this is about uh, who can hit the greatest top C. While that's fantastic, it's something that I think the ensemble will be doing in a few years. To show a growth for this ensemble, this is a starting point of text, music. What are the basics? Stripping back sets to just bare colours to white, high European sort of clinical design. Blank starting points, bringing on props, a single colour, let's say red, or a golden cup in Catherine. Stripping it back to your building block, our DNA of theatre, of storytelling, and then building upon that, so we're left with story, text, and character. On top of that is music. The show runs at the Lyric Theatre from the 12th of April to the 15th of April. So it's a short developmental run with two shows on the Saturday. But we chose the 12th of April because that is the anniversary of the death of Joanna the Mad. It's also the date that Catherine of Aragon was declared unqueen of England.